Hi, this is Ron Mitchell. We're playing Hunter Call of the Wild on PC. We're continuing our journey in episode 13 across Parque Fernando and coming to a new lake, a new lookout point. We're going to discover some more lodges. This lake looks really good. We're going to check that out. Hopefully find some more trophies. Let's just collect this and we'll take a look at the map and where we're located. Right, so this is where we are, down the bottom right hand corner, let's just move the map over. We're going to try and unlock the lodges down this bottom right hand side, there's one to my left, that's where we'll go next after we've checked this lake out. There's a couple other lakes, got some cores around here, got a really good vantage point, that's a good thing about some of these lookout points, you can see for miles. Can't see the animals, there's a lot of trees down there, but I'm sure there will be lots of animals around this lake because it looks quite a big one. The big lakes normally hold lots of species and often groups of deer and other species. So we'll see what's around here, hopefully find some trophies or some rares along the way. How has your hunting been going in Parque Fernando? Drop it in the chat if you've had any rares, any trophies. The big news today is all the people that ask about console release, well, Ron can tell you because it's been announced today. Tomorrow, the Xbox, Parque Fernando goes live, and then on Thursday, the PS4 gets it. And look at that. <laughs> what another great thing. We've got a legendary Puma. It's quite a long way off, but all you console people, you're going to be buzzing to get this tomorrow and Thursday. So you can all play it for Christmas. How good is that? So... Let's just make sure we've got seven millimeter on here because this is quite a distance, about 300 meters. I'm not saying we're not going to mess this up, but we'll have a go at it anyway. It's a legendary puma, so we might as well have a go. Just let it settle down a bit. Now, I think we've hit it there. You never know at this kind of distance. It's running about a bit, so it's not instantly down. Could be a body. Could be just like a lung or something, I don't know. See if it settles again, we'll have another crack. It's not a straightforward shot, is it? It's quite far, so. I was just gonna see if it drops down. But no, you can tell it's wounded, look, it's back's left, it's sort of like scrunching up. So we've hit that, I think we've hit that better this time. We'll just watch it, see what it does. Hopefully we, we haven't just flesh wounded it. Otherwise, one's going to waste all his ammo on this one puma. Come on. Drop dead. <laughs> See, I did like a nose dive. So, we've got a legendary puma there. Xbox release tomorrow, the 19th, and PS4 on Thursday for the 20th. So, that's going to make so many of you happy. I know across social media, everyone's going to be going bananas now. So, Ron's as happy for you as well, because I know a lot of you are asking and you want it out as soon as possible to get on it. So we've moved down. Look, this is where we are. That's where we shot the Puma. So we know it's around here somewhere, quite a long distance away. That's my objective. But we're not doing that at the minute. We're just gonna collect this Puma, check around this lake, hopefully find some more trophies. We know this is a legendary, so let's have a look where we hit it. We hit it in the school, left long and right long. So we did hit it both times, but Ron slipped up there because I used a 243. I thought I'd swapped it over. I must have got up on the wrong side of the bed. Uh, it is a legendary, 99.66 kilo, and it's a gold. So Ron did slip up, but it was a nice shot, and it was a 243 as well. So. I'm happy about that, and I'm happy about the news for the console. Right. Now let's have a look at the map where we are. I'm going to place a waypoint. Uh, there's the nearest lodge we've got to unlock. So what I'm going to do is, it's quite a nice uh, place here, and we've got the tower just above me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tent down here, so we can check this side of the lake if we visit again. Also, we can get an ATV to drive over to our new outpost. So it saves a lot of running. We'll collect that. 
and then I might do some hunting a bit later at night here just to see what it's like sometimes different times of day um, you find different things at the lake and I do like hunting at night or when it starts to get dark because it does add a different thing uh, a different experience to playing Call of the Wild so I should try it out so here's our lodge keep off the ATV claim this we take a quick look at where we are again on the map and I think we're going to do some night hunting um, will be different round here and like I say the animals are slightly calmer at night you can maybe get up closer to them and it does add a different experience because you can't see as much so it's more about your ears and uh, just checking out uh, like I say you got a bit more on your toes but it's also a different experience so give it a try at night a lot of people just hunt in the daytime if you like that there's nothing wrong with that the map's starting to open up now we've got starting to get all the corners we're going to go up the top left um, or sort of middle left after we've been to this area take that lodge there go down that right hand side and up to middle left and then up to top left so as you can see i've got my tent out it's all lit up very nicely and we're just checking around the lake to see if we can spot anything some water buffalo female red deer so nothing great yet a couple of animals I did hear a call behind me a minute ago red deer so I'm gonna go up this way and start calling and hopefully call in some red deer we might find something nice I don't know we will soon see so we've got a black book calling outside of me I did hear some red deer though a minute ago so I'm just going to keep stalking. I've been calling. I'm thinking there's a big herd, so I'm just going to keep calling. Spooky run. And try and creep up on them. And hopefully we bag a nice one. Just turn my light on, because it is getting really dark now. Lots of tracks this way. Sort of heading back to the tower, um, which we claimed earlier got puma about so hopefully that doesn't start chasing them you can see the pumas chase the animals sometimes uh, it's a nightmare because say like uh, you stalking something and they start uh, chasing them and the deers go everywhere just gonna keep calling hopefully we see something soon What's this? Thought I've seen something then. In the brush. We had a call. There's something in front of us. I know what Ron did wrong earlier. Because I had the uh, 470 on yesterday. Oh, we've got some deers in front of us. Female red deer. I don't want females, I want males. Because we had the 7mm in the second slot yesterday. Uh, we had the uh, third one with the 470, but I took the 470 off today because we've hunted water buffalo quite a lot. Uh, and I forgot to put the 7mm uh, back in the same slot. <laughs> but we've got it on now for the red deer. I thought I've seen a male there, I'm not sure, but it's quite a few females right in front of me and all around me. I'm not sure if they're spooked. There was a puma about. I'm hoping. <laughs> Don't get spooked by that. They are right next to me, all around me. Just gonna keep calling and hopefully spot a male. We don't know what it's gonna be. It could be a nice male, it could be a tiny one. It's more about hunting at night, adding a different experience to the game. It can be quite tense when you're going through thick bushes at night and you, you hear the animal, or you can hear him walking, but you're not sure you haven't seen it. it. Could be anything, it could be a diamond, it could be a rare, it could be a tiny one. You never know, and it really does add the experience of playing. Guess you're right on your edge of your seat. What have we got? There's loads of tracks here, so there must be a big group. Just gonna sneak on through. Just hopefully see something soon. The females keep coming, but I haven't seen a male yet. I don't think I've seen a clear male. I thought I seen an antler a minute ago in a bush. 
But you always see that, don't you? <laughs> you see that log or whatever. It's a giant trophy. It was just a bush. It's just a log. Just a tree. What's that? Well, that looks quite nice. Quite good antlers. Look at that. Where's it gone? <laughs> Disappears into the bush. Come back. You look quite decent. Can't tell how decent because I didn't get it scoring, it's spotting information. But it will do. It's back again. <laughs> got it. That should be a good shot. Yeah, straight down. So it looks like we've got quite a nice uh, male red deer. Don't know how big it is yet because it's quite hard in the dark. I don't think it's a monster, but. It's a male, it's a 203 kilo common, six on the scoring rating. Uh, it's silver, so not a monster, but nice stalking it in the dark. We hit most of the vital organs, so I enjoyed that. I think it's time to move on. We've done a bit of stalking at night, play my next outpost. So let's collect this outpost. Move on to our next area. I'm gonna go, um, I think I'm gonna go up to the middle left next. Check up there. We've got this open, so we can check down this bottom right near the lake now, and these other lakes, we've got tents on there, and we've got a lodge next to the smaller lake. So we've got all this right uh, bottom right area open for when we want to hunt it. I'm gonna go up to the middle left now. Now I've come up to this area, this small lodge, there's a small lake here and there's one further back. So we're gonna check these two and then move up to that lookout point up there. And there's, what, four, maybe five lakes up there to discover after we've checked around here. I like coming to the lakes, I always say this, water often means animals in great numbers. So we can have a look down here. We've just spooked some uh, cinnamon teals. I'll show you on the map in a minute where we are exactly so because that could be a good uh, setup we know they're here in fact I might set one up here because we've got an outpost just behind me it'll be ideal flat ground and a nice uh, open lake flat lake to hunt on I have got a couple of cinnamon teal setups already this is where we are that exact location so you can take the coordinates Put set up here. I will add one here as well. I think I'm going to start adding them around most of the ponds and lakes on this reserve because put a tent down or if it's near a lodge you don't have to and come straight to them. And if there's a uh, cinnamon teal here, you're straight in. What's that? Black book. She's fleed. And I'm glad I spotted that because I was a spotter. It looks like a rare puma at the side of it. That was nervous, ran off. So thank you. To that there because you've just uh, helped me locate a puma right see if we can get a bit closer to it it's quite far away about 300 meters hopefully we don't do like last time and skull it first shot I'm gonna try and get the right rifle this time try and bag a rare that would be nice we've had a legendary already and a rare would just top off the hunt Been quite lucky with some of the rares. We've had uh, legendaries, we've had mythicals, uh, we had a diamond yesterday. So Ron's been bagging some beautiful animals, great trophies. Can we get it here? Got the right gun on. Yeah, we can see the one we don't want to see, and the other one's in line with the tree. How many times does that happen? You know, when you spot a great animal, you go to take a shot on it, and it just walks a couple of steps straight in line with a tree. Tell me, how many times does that happen? It happens all the time, doesn't it? <laughs> can just about see it, but not quite. It's not really an ideal shot. So, I'm just going to go a bit closer. There's no point trying to shoot it like that. And it hit, hitting a branch uh, will absolutely rage me up. So, uh, I know I've done things like that in the past. <laughs> so... Right, this is a lot better, I'm sure. Yeah, there we go. Right, you can see it clearly now. It goes. 
I think we did well there. I'll put it a little bit higher this time. Trying to hit the spine and lungs. And I think we should be good with that. 7mm, the right rifle. Got a small puma. Not worth shooting, is it? It's only a three. So, got. Might be an albino, might be a grey. It's quite hard to tell until you get right up to them. They're very similar. What's that one? Is that worth shooting? That's a legendary. That's definitely worth shooting. What a bonus, right? That should be a good shot. So, what about that? That's just took a, a big upturn. Got a rare and a legendary. Well, we hopefully got a legendary. Uh, we'll go over and collect our animals or ch collect the tracks, I should say. Just here on that location. Might help some out. We've got a rare puma and a possible legendary. So, we had a legendary earlier at the other lake. So, it could be possibly two legendaries and a rare puma in one hunt. Uh, I can't believe it. Let's go and check this and see. Hopefully Ron hasn't messed this up. Right, where is it? The first one we shot was a rare. What is it? Here's the body. Well, it definitely looks white. So what is it? It is a male, 74 kilo grey. And it's a silver. So there's our first rare. Left long, right long. Now the legendary, did we hit that? I think we definitely hit it, yeah look at the blood there. But where did we hit it and what will it be? So what a great day for hunting. Uh, really been putting in a lot of hours uh, since this has come out, trying to get really great footage for you. And it does take it out a little bit, but it's worth it when you get nice animals. Male, 97.72, common, legendary puma. Scores 941 gold. Lost out a little bit on the quick kill bonus. Stomach left long. So, what a great ending to the video. That's been me, Ron McTube, Parque Fernandez, Call of the Wild. Hope you enjoyed the video, episode 13, and thanks for watching. Bye bye.